So we're again running down the uh, rabbit hole here of infection. So you're faced with this case, T1 on the left, T2 on the right. What are you going to do with this lesion? What do you think about this? Is this a disc space infection? Is this degenerative disc disease? Is this gout? Is it CPPD? Or just biopsy it and I don't want to see any more of it. And the answer is, uh, you said degenerative, you know, you don't know how good you have made me feel because uh, that's what I called on this case. I said, you know, I'm an expert on this, right? And uh, so I know this stuff. And so here we have degenerative end plate changes, type 2. I'm really happy when I see degenerative end plate changes like this. I've got a little high signal in the disc, but eh, I've got degenerative end plate changes, so it's cracks and fissures within the disc, no big deal, we can see this. I've got a herniation out here, so, you know, confidently, not a problem. Here it is, six weeks later, this was an early disc space infection at that time. Now it's a florid disc space infection. Um, but you have validated my uh, inability to define this entity, so that's good. Um, sometimes it's just really, really hard to tell. And so I only half facetiously put in the biopsy comment because most of the time, you know, I have become l much less useful to everybody involved over time as I've seen more of these because you just can't tell sometimes. Here's another example. What are you going to do with this? T1, T2, a lot of stuff going on. Degeneration here, got some something there. We got focus on that kind of a theme going. So what do you think? Is this degenerative disc disease, herniation, discal cleft? Is it DDD, herniation, type 1 end plates? Is it degenerative change, herniation, and a disc space infection? Or is it degeneration, Schmorl's nodes, and a herniation? <laughs> So you are saying three, this is degenerative change, herniation, and a disc space infection. Uh, you're sensitized now, excellent. That's, uh... So here we are again, that's the initial study. And again, very similar kind of pattern that not much in the way of T2 change, end plates look pretty good to me. And if anything, I would have said, well, maybe a little calcium vacuum phenomenon here, I wouldn't have said much, nothing much prevertebral, that's not high signal, that's just disc, you know, spondy. Easily, I will say that this could have been degenerative disc disease again. Unfortunately, again, six weeks later, they come back and you've got a florid disc space infection. So in, in the sense of test taking, you will never be presented with this, but in reality, it's much uglier when you're trying to look at these things uh, and there is an overlap. You just early, you know, early, early disc space infection, bad degenerative disease, you just can't tell. It doesn't matter what sequence you throw at it, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. This is as good as I've seen on, you know, missing the study as we progress into into a disc space infection. So a patient came in with back pain. We're very efficient on scanning all these people. Very fast turnaround time. So they get scanned uh, within 23 hours. Uh, they go back out. They come back in. We're treated. Um, we said degenerative disease. They came back. Gosh, I'm still having back pain. And at this point, somebody else read it. Also, degenerative disease, maybe the herniation is a little bit worse. And now by the 17th, it is the manifested disc space infection. So here, and I don't know, I'm, I'm scared deeply by cases like this and, and probably scarred. So, I mean, what do you do now every time you see degenerative change like that? Yeah, I can't, I can't exclude a disc space infection. You know, that's a helpful dictation. So um, it's out there. Here's, again, the post-contrast studies. You know, by the time there's this big abscess in Phlegmon, I've made the diagnosis. Great. This is what you will see for CAQMOC, something where there's a obviously florid pyogenic infection, low on T1, end plate destruction, kyphotic deformity, bright on T2, irregular disc, bright on T2, everything enhances body, end plate, irregular enhancement of the end plate. That we're all going to call advanced disc space infection. 
unfortunate soul, which essentially transforming everything into a uh, bacterial uh, component here. Every level now is abnormal. This is epidural abscess extending up, prior laminectomy trying to do something for them, and they're now at a point post-contrast where the bodies are infarcting and they really are, even aren't enhancing, so it's sort of liquefying their vertebral bodies.